Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and my first Becker's Commands uh, project update. Uh, if you saw the video yesterday, you will have seen that I've chosen to do a, a three-man um, higher command section um, for my Stalingrad Germans for bolt action. Um, I hadn't done anything yesterday, but uh, I sat down and slight change <laughs> due to my rather eager enthusiasm for, uh, for building these. I was going to do one at a time and then make a video. Uh, I just got carried away and built all three <laughs> in pretty much one sitting. So that's what this video is going to be about. Um, what I've built so far um, and how I went about building it. So I decided that I was going to do uh, a higher command. So I've chosen a captain. I think it's a Hauptmann, um, the, the German equivalent. And I decided that I wanted him to be a, a bit a bit stand out, a bit, a bit special compared to the other, the other troops. So I've used the... Um, I think it's the, uh, the, the, the Mauser pistol from the SS um, plastic box. But what I'm going to do is um, move the, fill around with the camera and get the zoom better. And I'll show you pretty much up close uh, what I've been up to uh, with these three. So let's have a look. Ah, there we go. So that's a bit better. So this, this is the Hauptmann. So all, they're all based on the... Um, the torso from the winter german box uh, and his helmet uh, helmet is as well i was tempted to give him a, an officer's hat but i thought it's not really good for your general health and safety wearing an officer's hat in the middle of stalingrad so i've gone for the helmet um as would probably be a bit more um, safety conscious uh, yeah <laughs> uh, i've added uh, an iron cross from the grenadier box there just to make him uh, stand out a bit more as an officer the only the only changes here the arms so as you'll see, he's holding the um, it's the uh, the Mauser there with the um, with the added stock. This is from the plastic SS box, and I really like that box. But the arms don't really go with the great coats. But I really wanted to use them. So what you'll see I've done is some very crude and very rudimentary um, green stuff to build up the cuffs and hide those frilly um, frilly cuffs on the SS smock. Um, still a bit, still a bit basic at the moment, um, but once it's fully, fully dry, I'm going to go in and kind of carefully sand them down and um, just make them a bit more smoother. But I think as a starting point, no, I think that they're, they're not, they're not, they're not too bad. I'm not too disheartened about them. Uh, I really do need to need to crack up on my green stuff skills. Um, but now from three feet away, it will look like uh, great coat arms. So that is the Hauptmann. Um, so he needed uh, an assistant. So I chose this guy. Again, based on the um, Stalingrad torso. Uh, now, this is where it gets it gets a bit funny through a few different kits. The left arm, or oh, sorry, the right arm, is from the plastic Grenadier um, box. Uh, as is the, uh, the Russian PPSH there. Now the difficulty came with the left arm. Uh, I couldn't get any... I just couldn't get the, the left arm from the Grandier box to fit. I don't know whether it's just me having a, a moment or user error, but I couldn't get it to fit. So I went digging around my bits box and I found a left arm from the uh, the plastic US Marine set, but it was a short sleeve, um, but it fit really well. It really, really did go under the uh, under the weapon like that. So what I did, I, I, I sort of, I mean, you can see that. I chopped down the um the kind of the uh, the the edge of the sleeve and i've used green stuff again just to build up a very very basic lower half of the sleeve uh, again it's it's it's, it's basic is it's the best way to call it but it's it's got the pose that i really wanted um that's that's that that's ideally the, the pose that i was after right there um as you can see hopefully Mess around the camera on here. Oh, so there we go. Once it, once it's again, once it's filed down and painted, I think you won't be able to notice from three feet away. But that is the um, the sergeant of the uh, of the command section. And last but not least, I decided to add a, a radio operator. Now this. I did a, little, a bit of a bit of research looking for um, 
field radios for the, for the German army. Um, and this is what I came up with. It's probably not anywhere near what it should look like. <laughs> but again, we'll start, we'll start with the body. Try and get it a bit more focused, actually. Ah, oh, there we go. It's a bit better. So as you see, it's the Stalingrad Winter German body and right arm with the rifle. Now, the left arm is, he, he should be holding a uh, an assault rifle magazine. What I've done is I've, I've sort of filed it down and reduced it so it looks like a mouthpiece for the radio. I'm debating whether to add a, a wire connecting. I don't know whether I'm going to go that far or not. But the biggest task was the actual radio itself. Again, it's probably 100% historically inaccurate, but as a representation of a very small figure on a large tabletop, it'll do for me. So this was built up using, the actual base is a, a rucksack from actually the Death Corps of Krieg <laughs> by Games Workshop. Um, I have a long fateful story about how I ended up with these, but I'm not going to go into today because it's, it's just awful. Anyway, once that was added, I got two bits, uh, identical bits of plastic. Then they're, they're actually from, um, from, I can't remember which kit, but they're from some form of tank. So they were glued together and they, they went really nicely onto the back of the rucksack. I then used a combination of liquid green stuff and normal green stuff to fill in the gaps and make it look like a sort of um, a cloth or material cover that goes around there. And then the aerial is from, um, again, I think it's from a, a tank kit. I've got so much, so many bits and pieces in boxes and, and I, don't, I forget where they've come from, but as a radio operator, not, not bad, I'm quite happy with that. Like I say, I'm, not, I'm in two minds about where to add a, um, a wire from the, uh, the handset to the, uh, to the backpack. I think about that once I've done a bit more tidying up on these guys. But that is all three um, done. I, I rushed through it quite, <laughs> quite quickly. I wasn't planning on doing all three at once. What, is that, what I've decided to do is because I want to make a base as well. So I'm going to be basing them on these on this so i'm going to be putting um using the uh, the method that i usually do urban basing i'll be putting that on there and they'll be they won't be permanently glued on they'll just slot on it's more, more for display purposes than anything but that's what they are, are going to look like so that's my brief update what i'm going to do now is go away tidy these up a little bit more um and then crack on with the painting so in the next video it'll be an update to the painting and where i've got to on the basing so hope you find the video interesting uh, really enjoyed everyone else's videos um, yeah absolutely so so good um, what, what I'm, I'm liking is a really diverse range out there loads of people are using so yeah fantastic stuff guys really really great effort all around so as always thanks for watching uh, take care and I shall catch you all in the next video so bye bye for now